Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to show you how to transfer information from one iPhone to another. So it can be your old iPhone and you want to transfer it to a new one, or from a newer one to another one, upgraded one. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure to use iCloud if you guys have enough space, or just make a backup on your computer and use your computer to make that transfer. So again, this process goes out with any iPhone. With all iPhones, it's the exact same process to do this. So for example, we're gonna transfer information from this iPhone 8 onto this iPhone Pro Max. But again, if you're just transferring information from iPhone 11 to a 12, or a 12 to 11, actually going backwards, it's the same thing, exact same process. Or even an iPhone 6 to a 12, again, same deal. So what we want to do on our current phone, the one that has all our information, so you guys can see this one has been used, go right into your settings. Under your settings, go under your iCloud and make that backup. So that's our very first option. So I'm just gonna tap right there. And then if you scroll down just a little bit, you're gonna see iCloud. Just select iCloud. From there, just keep scrolling down. And you guys are gonna see iCloud backup. Just go into iCloud backup. And here you're gonna see your last backup. This is very important to tap backup now and continue. There might be some apps that you chose not to back up, so that's why I got that message. There are some apps that take up space on my iCloud. I do not want to back up those. So once we've done that backup, we can move on to our phone. So just letting you know before we do this that although we did that backup here and we're just gonna restore it on this newer phone, it doesn't mean it's gonna delete from here. So don't worry about that. You actually have to delete it yourself. So if you want to delete everything from your old phone, you just have to go all the way back, okay? And then scroll down so you guys see general. So that's under settings, general. Scroll all the way down and we're gonna see this, reset. Under reset, we're gonna erase all content and settings. Obviously, we're gonna do that after we transferred everything if you want to. You can keep information here and here it doesn't matter, you guys can keep the same information on both iPhones, so you guys can keep two iPhones at the same time. That's no problem. But for now, we're done with our old iPhone, we just have to make that backup, and we are gonna go into our new phone. So again, we're transferring everything from here to here. Now something I forgot to mention is to take out the SIM card from your old phone. So at this time, you guys can turn off your old phone. It doesn't really matter. I always take out the SIM cards without turning, them, turning off my phones, but you can if you want to, just for safety. And we're gonna open this up. Now, take out the SIM card. That's the SIM card. And it should fit on your new phone. Unless your phone's really, really old, you will need another SIM card. Other than that, your nano SIM card should fit on your next one. By the way, this tool that I used to take out the SIM card came inside your box. So this is something that came inside your new box with your iPhone. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. You guys can use an earring and that will work just fine. So on a new phone, we're gonna see on the side, there's a SIM card tray that we can take out by just using this tool again. Just take out that tray and we can go ahead and place our SIM card right there and then just put it in our new phone. Here we go. The SIM card itself is just to make your phone work as a phone. There's no storage like an SD card on it. I shouldn't say there's no storage at all because it does have some storage to keep numbers in it. But other than that, no, it, there's no gigs in it. Anyways, on the side of your phone, you're just gonna hold on and we're gonna do the initial setup for this brand new phone. So we're gonna just hold it down until we see an Apple logo. And I've already done a setup video, so just in case if you guys watched my setup video from before, it's basically the exact same thing. Anyways, right now, let's just swipe up again doesn't matter what iPhone you guys have, it's the exact same setup. So right now we're gonna choose our region. You guys can scroll down to find US if you're from the US or any other country. We're just gonna choose Canada for now. We can do a quick start. So with our phone, we're gonna actually do this quick start right now just to show you, but we can always skip it. But anyways, all you guys have to do is just put your phone beside the other one, just turn it on. Just make sure that it's unlocked and you're gonna get this pop-up. Because your old iPhone or even iPad, you guys can do this with an iPad, it's gonna recognize you're setting up a new phone. So we're gonna go ahead and select continue on. 
and then from here we have to do exactly this so all we have to do is just scan it so we're gonna place one phone on top of the other kind of and scan that pattern once we do that it's just gonna finish up so we can leave this phone on the side for now we can place this one right here and then enter passcode so obviously we have a passcode for our old phone we're just gonna type that in once we do that it's gonna set up the phone now on your old phone you should see this screen on the other hand it's gonna say finish on the new iPhone so as long as you guys keep this kind of close to the other one you should be okay so we're gonna keep the other one close to this one however we still have to set up face ID and so on so we're gonna go ahead and set that up right now all we have to do is just press OK and just setting up your face ID is just moving your face side to side and up and down kind of how this shows you so we're gonna press start I'm gonna show you how that looks like so right now I'm just gonna move my head up and down. You guys won't actually see this that well, but that's okay. Press continue on, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I will most likely rescan this again <laughs> because for the setup video, uh, my camera's getting in the way and everything, so yeah. Anyways, let's press continue on. By the way, don't worry if it lags out a little bit. Just wait for it, it's transferring stuff. Right now it's gonna ask me to transfer my data. So right now here, I can see transfer your data, transfer from iPhone, download from iCloud. So that's why I went over making the iCloud backup, which we should do anyways, even if we're transferring directly without using iCloud, it's good to have that backup. However, we have our iPhone right beside us, so might as well just do that because it's faster than using iCloud. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer it like this. By the way, if you choose iCloud, same process. So we're gonna go in agree, we're going to hit agree again and we should see this screen right now down here below we can click on continue and again we can just click on continue on iMessage obviously improve Siri well I usually don't like to share my audio recordings but I will and here we go I'm going to share this with Apple we don't have to same deal we don't have to share with developers but I suggest doing so and then one of the last steps that not all of you will see, but some of you is this, the update. You will have to download and install. Again, not everybody will see this, so it's okay if you do not see the software update at this point in time. So this will take some time. It's not a humongous update. Now remember that this does take some time because we are updating the phone. It's going to restart. Just let it be and wait up for it. The other message that you might see on your older phone is this, waiting for software update. On this one before the Apple logo, you could have said verify an update, which is normal. That's just the way it has to be. After about 10, 15 minutes, really depends, information and everything, and the update, you guys will see this. Parent transfer and finish on new iPhone. So just wait up for it, just let it do its thing. You guys can keep this going, sure, touch the screen, but you don't have to. Just let it lock by itself and it's gonna keep going and doing the transfer by itself. Again, this is another screen that we're gonna see. So this is all normal. We should be able to see this screen on our old and new iPhone. And right now it's actually transferring everything. It shouldn't be that much because it's not that many gigs from one to another and make sure that you guys have enough space on your new phone. So I would never suggest to have less space on your new phone than your old one. You should have at least more or about the same. At this point in time, all we have to do is just wait for this one to transfer to the other one, and that's all. It's just a waiting game. Now there are some messages that you might get, some of you, others won't. So don't worry about if you don't get this enabled soon. It's no big deal. Let me just turn on the phone again. So right now it is telling me that it's transferred to complete. We're gonna see an Apple logo, loading bar. On our old phone, we can just tap on continue. And there we go. So nothing has deleted off my old phone. Again, everything's still there, we're good. We can just go ahead and delete everything if we want to do that. For a full video on that, I do have a separate video. But right now we're just gonna leave our old phone on the side and our new phone is just gonna finish up setting up. 
And if you leave your iPhone just on the table, it's gonna go back screen. If you pick it up, you should say this. Let's just do that. And right now, restore complete apps and data. Continue downloading in the background. Continue on. And welcome to iPhone. Swipe. And we're done. So at this point, I should get a bunch of messages and all my apps will start downloading slowly one by one. I'm just gonna go ahead and use. And something you might get is to verify your Apple ID, so make sure to do that. And if you have two factor, it's gonna send that code to your other device, which would be your other phone. So in this case, this is the verification code that I have to put on the other one. So I'm just gonna copy that over. And once I do that, that's it. Just gonna see my iCloud stuff here. I can just get out. And at this point in time, everything has been transferred over. It's just downloading apps and doing all that stuff. So we can scroll through and see if all our apps are here. They are in fact all here, so I'm good. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Download the downloading time for each app. Well, it depends how big each app is, but you can just leave your phone be at this time and you're all done transferring all your information. Congrats guys, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.